one and a half minutes. Take care, please. Thank you. Uh, the issue of forced marriage does not just affect children living on the African and Asian continents. It's happening across Europe and the silence surrounding it, it has many parallels with the exploitation and trafficking of young girls across many towns in northern England. Uh, UK law imposes a maximum sentence of seven years on the perpetrators of this crime and it's simply not a strong enough deterrent. Girls are afraid to speak out. Others dismiss it as a cultural practice and our social services in England, uh, the police, the politicians, dare not speak up for fear of being labelled racist. Uh, with open borders, human traffickers have free reign to exploit children. In 2013, over 600 children were trafficked into Britain for exploitation and forced marriage. This modern day form of slavery is on the rise and the EU have given the perpetrators a helping hand yeah, yeah. by not allowing member states to control their own borders and and check criminal backgrounds, the EU is enabling this crime to escalate. The UK can at least check an individual's passport. Mainland Europe is prevented from even doing that. Criminal trafficking gangs operate with impunity due to EU free movement rules. So whilst members are very good at voicing their outrage at these crimes, they are fundamentally unable to implement anything practical to actually stop it.